Welcome to a new episode of The Opening School. Last week we finished analyzing the Accelerated Dragon and tonight we will analyze an opening with a much higher draw content. The opening I have in mind is the Petrov Defense, an opening often used by Grandmasters when they just want to play a draw. In order not to create misunderstandings, I have to say that not all of the games end in a draw. Many times there have been so that the tournament leader played this opening in the last round just to secure a draw and thus the first place. But instead of all the initiative coming to an end in the symmetrical position that often occurs, the leader loses instead. Plainly said, even though the game often ends in a draw, there is always a chance of the game ending with another score. The game does, as you might have figured out, begin with White's first move, e4, and is continued by e5. Now follows knight to f3, and instead of black protecting the e5 pawn by playing knight to c6 or d6, he plays knight to f6. Well, it is said that the best defense is the offense, but that such an aggressive play introduces this draw opening is quite ironic. But it is this aggressiveness which creates the symmetry, which later gives the opening its character and makes it harder for both parties to get an advantage. Usually the game from here on continues on by a capture and e5, followed by d6, knight to f3, knight takes on e4, d4, and d5. Just look at the pawn structure. Both sides have similar developed pawns. But even though, one ought to be careful, because else you might come into a position from where you are worse. It is probably that, that fact that is the most dangerous trap in this opening. You think that you are safe, when you are not, since you believe that the game will end up in a draw, and because of that, you only move your pieces around, waiting for the opponent to accepting the standing offer. But despite the position symmetry, it is possible to outmaneuver the opponent on a positional stage and from there gain the advantage needed to win. Now white plays bishop to d3, which is fully natural move. Black answers by playing knight to c6, and white counters with a castle kingside, which threatened to pin the e4 knight by playing rook to e1. Black blocks the possibilities of white pinning him by playing bishop to e7, which also opens the possibility for a black to castle. White doesn't want to simply leave the position as it is, and because of that, he plays c4. One might believe that this move crushes the symmetry of the position, but it is not quite true, because now black can play knight to b4. White could take the pawn on d5 with his own pawn on c4, but usually white rather would like to keep his bishop, so instead he plays bishop to e2. More than just about the will to keep the bishop, you should also think about the fact that a capture in d5 would leave the white d4 pawn all alone, which means that white now will get a weakness which can be exploited by black. Black does now play a castle and white develops by playing knight to c3, which is followed by black's bishop to e6. Black's latest move seems to threaten a capture on c4, but that is not entirely true, since this would mean that the knight on e4 would be lost. To try by exchanging on c3 first, would not win the c4 pawn, since white would threaten the black b4 knight after the exchange on c3. White does now play knight to e5, which is a very logical move, since it now holds more squares. Black does not want to allow white ha to have this great positioning of his knight, and thereby he plays f6. This forces the white knight to retreat to f3. The position before us is very sensitive. The position is as good as equal, but you have to be on guard. As I said before, the most dangerous trap in this position is to let oneself think that he is safe. And then suddenly the position changes character, and instead of the placid position we had before, we are under tough pressure. But with that, I'll have to thank for me, and I'll see you again next week with a new episode of The Opening School. See you then.